I'm so excited it's here. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isada's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. Literally, this just came in. If you follow tech news, you'd know I'm super excited about this package from Google. Team Pixel just sent this in, and I'm expecting this to have the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Let's open this up. So we have the Google logo up front. I'm excited. Ooh, you see that? Fancy. That's cool for all you are. <gasps> yes! Quick note from Google here, introducing the Pixel 6 Pro. We have a couple of things in here and not just the phone, a sealed unit of the Google Pixel 6 Pro. We also have that cute little case. Now I've seen these from the launch and they look pretty amazing. I'm so happy they sent me one as well. Let's open this phone up and I am happy because I got this color. This is sort of sunny, specifically the color I wanted. Google branding on the sides. On the back it says Team Pixel and again, shouts out to Team Pixel for sending over this phone. I'm so excited to test it out. Oh, nice. Let's see what else is in the box first. We have, of course, some paperwork from Google. A really, really cute SIM tool. Now, Google has these cute, differently shaped tools. I feel like these should turn into my next earrings. <laughs> we have the charging cord that's USB C to C. There's also a USB A to C adapter. Is there anything else? No, nothing else. So that's it. On to the phone. Now, obviously, I am a fan of the color of this 6 Pro. I like how it's bright and cheery, but at the same time, very subtle and still very classy and serious looking. That's the thing I've noticed with a lot of Pro phones. They tend to not have the cute little colors, which is why I like that Google still gave us this sort of sunny colorway for their Pro phones. It's not as bright and out there as the pink and orange Google Pixel 6, but it still has a splash of color color and color that honestly matches my nails so well. This is one solid feeling phone, definitely premium. You have of course that very distinct camera module on the back there which a little trivia was inspired by the Google search bar it's funny how I look at this phone and think it's one unique nice and classy looking device but simultaneously this bar sort of reminds me of Cyclops or something <laughs> it just feels super solid and you'll see later on that this is a curved screen and that's versus the pixel 6 which has a flat screen on the right side you have an unlock button you have the volume rocker bottom gives gives you speakers, USB-C charging port, left side gives you the SIM tray, and up top you have this sort of like matching bar situation right here. I gotta admit, I feel like Google really stepped up their design game this year after years and years of having like not the most exciting looks, Google does it this year. Now you guys know what's coming next, a montage. <music> the months we've heard so many things about this phone so I just can't believe that it's finally in my hand. Definitely stoked for this redesign. I love the colors on this pixel line. And I know, I know, I've given Google some grief over how they picked some certain color shades. But for the Pixel 6 line, even if the Pixel 6 Pro does have more muted tones, I'm definitely in love with the shade. Real talk, these are colors that I'd actually pick for my nails and now you guys know why I like it so much. To me, this phone just really looks unique. It's definitely something that other people will notice if they see you in the wild with this in your hand. They'd know it's a pixel. I will say just because these are things that don't necessarily translate in video a lot, this phone does feel premium. It feels good in hand and it's just, I feel like in general, very well built. Despite it being a big phone, it's pretty sleek and the rounded edges help make me a tiny 
one-handed person holding it feel more comfortable right but we still have the case let's not forget we also have a case that came with a phone now as the box shows you i think i think this is a white transparent case now there are different colors we have an orange and a green here but these are not my cases these are joshua's cases so if you want to check out his video with a pixel 6 and 6 pro and these cute colorful cases i'll link it up here and down below meantime let's open up mine and what's so cool about this is that the case is made from over 30 percent recycled plastic based on the other cases that I've seen I definitely like the look of these cases sort of reminds me of the 90s there we go I like that little G detail over there and I like that they sort of match it to the color of the case Joshua's cases have a different color on them let's put this on oh my gosh I love because it's white it sort of still lets you see a hint of color but it's also pretty protected. I like that this case sort of protects the protruding camera module. Still sticks out a little, but that feels like it's better protection for it. I would have loved an orange version for my orange phone, but this is the second best thing. And like I said, this just came this morning and I just unboxed this like a few minutes ago. So definitely I will need more time with this phone to tell you just how it performs. But since we're already here and I'm already showing you the phone itself, I just wanted to talk quickly about the things that are exciting to me, the things that I'm looking forward to testing. Things that when I was watching the Pixel event, I went like, ooh. So first off, after like, what, four years of having the same camera hardware on their Pixel devices, Google finally upgrades the sensor on their main camera. This Pixel 6 Pro also has a 12 megapixel wide angle camera and specifically on the Pixel 6 Pro, but not on the Pixel 6, this has a telephoto camera with four times optical zoom. Now quick story time, and I promise you this ties into why I'm really excited over Pixel cameras. Once upon a time, I was a hardcore iPhone user. That was way before I was reviewing tech for a living it was actually a pixel that completely switched me over to android it was a pixel 2 and my main reason well one i felt like the pixel 2 had like a way better feel than the pixel 1 which to me felt a little bit too plasticky again this feels really nice in hand so we're going towards that direction and number two the cameras were just too good to ignore historically pixels gave me images that just looked so good and all of that with just software see google phones historically did not have the best camera hardware but now things have changed and that's why i'm super stoked to be trying out these cameras honestly i cannot wait to see just what type of images we capture with these things and aside from that i'm really curious to see how video performs with this phone but it doesn't even stop there because google talked about other cool things in terms of camera features at their launch there's Magic Eraser, which allows you to take photos in busy places and then magically erase all the stuff you don't want in your photos. Now, let me tell you, I struggle with this a lot, so I'm so excited to see just how well this works. And then there's Face and Blur, which allows you to take action shots, moving photos, and then not have your face blurred because that is the most important part of a photo. And finally, at the Google announcement, Pixel talked about real tone, which means that their algorithm is now tuned to all the different skin types and skin tones. Second big thing about the Google Pixel 6 line, these are the very first Google phones with Google chips in them. Google Tensor powers these devices, and so I'm curious to see just how that performs in terms of like every day multitasking, gaming, and of course, camera processing. Finally, the Google 6 Pro has this really nice, large, because it is a large phone, curved screen. Supposedly a better screen with 120 hertz refresh rate. That's versus the 90 hertz on the Pixel 6 and the 60 hertz on previous Pixels. Other random things from the launch that have excited me so much. There's live speech translation. And if you didn't see the launch, it basically had Marie Kondo speaking with live translate the whole time via these phones. And finally, at the Pixel launch, there was even a demo with Material U where they were matching wallpaper and dynamic buttons to outfit some cool personalization on a different level and as someone who tries to match her nails with her phone phone cases and jewelry I'm pretty excited for the outfit matching 
Right, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think about this really, really quick Pixel 6 Pro unboxing. Let me know what you think about the new design. Let me know what you want to see in my upcoming video on this phone. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Until next time, 